Hey everybody, welcome on back into the park, where it's been a couple of days, but um, not a lot's happened. We actually did compete in a battle arena, just off screen, taking care of business, and uh, look what we got! Oh yeah, he is... Absolutely terrifying. So, we will go ahead and put Osta down the OSTA. Osta gets carried away to the cannibal side of the park, right? And there he will reside until he is old and dead and long forgotten, right? <laughs> that sounds so harsh. Ah. How can you blame me? Just in a walled world. He has no access. He cannot be free. It's just sad. I understand that safety mandates that we keep the creatures caged. But, um, wouldn't it be nice to have them walk along the park boulevard and just shake the hands of guests and say, Thank you for coming out to see my park. You know, and... <laughs> No, God, what kind of a crack dream is that, right? Jeez. So, yeah, arcade is done. It looks beautiful. We'll get to that in a second. We're just going around getting some of these. We still got to complete Henry Wu's mission, which um, isn't anything that I expect to be done soon. So I'm just going to stop talking about it. <laughs> and and when you look in on that, you're going to be like, Why haven't you completed Henry Wu's awesome mission? Well, it's because his mission is the stuff that jerks send people on, you know? I mean, five amphibians level 31 or higher? What kind of an asshole does that? I, I don't know. I can't say. I'm not Henry, I'm not, I'm not Henry Wu, so whatever, you know? Spino, leveling up once again. We've been working our butts off trying to get this guy ready for his big day. And uh, he's, he's there. He's, he's so close. He's so close. So close to that level 40. I, I can smell it. If you could smell a level 40. So, we're just waiting on him to uh, come out of the shell. In the meantime... I think we could, uh, I don't know, could we do another battle arena? I think there might be time actually. Yeah, you know what? I think so. But you know what? First, I want to just look in at this arcade really quick. Isn't it nice? Isn't it awesome? Doesn't it look like a real arcade? It does look like a real arcade. It looks like the arcade out of the movie, doesn't it? Man, I wasn't even thinking about it. I was just like, you know, that looks like a real- no, it actually does look like the arcade. Man, I just- for whatever reason, I forgot that that was in there, but... Alright, so, we are doing battle stage number 42, bringing our biggest and our best in, as always, to compete. So, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this story or not, but, uh, Brontosaurus is apparently a dinosaur again. Yeah. Now, if you're wondering, well, you know, Brontosaurus has always been, no, no. Brontosaurus has not always been a dinosaur. In fact, back in 1903, it was when scientists decided that, you know what, Brontosaurus was actually just a hastily named fossil that was also known as the Apatosaurus. And it wasn't really uncommon for this to happen back then. It was just the biggest uh, to have it happen to, to be classified as two different things when actually they were the exact same thing. Okay, does that make sense? All right, now if you're following me, I'll, I'll give you a little bit of insight to why that is and then we'll move on. Um, basically, O.C. Marsh and Edie Cope, Edward, Edward Cope, probably one of the most underrated scientists in all of paleontology, in my personal opinion, uh, were in a race just to name as many fossils as they could. It was actually called the Bone Wars, okay? 
Some people call it the Great Dinosaur Rush, but I hate that name. So, O.C. Marsh, he's like, wow, I found a brontosaurus. And then he'd write it down in his little notebook, and then he'd do a little bit of digging, and then he'd find a different bone, and he'd be like, wow, I found an apatosaurus. And it was actually the same dinosaur, but he counted it as two because he was a dick, and he wanted to beat E.D. Cope. That's, that's just how it is. I mean, O.C. Marsh, I, I can't even get into the reasons why I hate O.C. Marsh right now. But, um, <laughs> you, you can kind of understand when he's making dick moves like that, you know. But anyway, uh, getting back to the point. But apparently scientists at Oxford with their sophisticated computer software calculated the differences between that and the other and determined that, yes, these are two different dinosaurs. So, what exactly are the differences? Well, maybe they have a different kind of bone marrow. Um, one of their teeth could be out of alignment. I don't know. But honestly, I really don't expect this to stick. Because it's just, it's kind of like, what the hell? You know? But for the time being, Brontosaurus uh, apparently lives again. I mean, like, the pelvises of the Patosaurus and the Brontosaurus are slightly different. Slightly different. Slightly! I mean, like, minute! So, these are the kind of things that they are saying define the differences between the Apatosaurus and Brontosaurus. Now I'm gonna get the image of O.C. Marsh as like this Terminator reading psychopathic computer digging up dinosaurs in the ancient past. Just like using his Terminator eye to evaluate the bone density of the freaking dinosaur fossils, you know? And we unlock a Parasophilosaurus. Sweet. So, now that that's done, we get some bucks, a little bit of XP, and we're gonna level up. Is that enough to level up? No, it's not enough. I thought for sure it was going to be enough to level up, but... Not a chance. And see, I thought that we already had him, but it was Krithosaurus. So... Alright, well... I think, uh... Where... Where... Did he go? There he is. They actually didn't give us the card, like normally. Now we have to buy it. Which is kind of strange, but... Huh. I don't know what to say. Dig site. <laughs> don't know what to say, just head on over to the dig site, right? Well, it has been a little while here in the park, but we are back once again. And uh, why are we back? Because it is time for Spino to shine. He's like, I'm gonna shine! <laughs> oh my god, look at how much it costs to feed him! By the way, look, look at how awesome he is. Jeez. I, it, it's gonna be a shame to like see him go. Especially now, like, just look at that. That Spinosaurus is amazing. I would really hate to sacrifice him for a Spinoraptor. But, you know what? That, that was the whole point of doing this, so... We kind of have to do it, don't we? Ah, <laughs> uh, oh well. You know, soon enough we will have a, uh, a level 40 Spinoraptor, maybe. And then it'll make up for it, right? Maybe? Possibly? Is it going to take like an eternity? Probably. But uh, we'll do the best we can. I gotta say, the one thing I really do hate about doing these hybrids is the fact that it just it costs so much DNA. Like, from that last battle tournament, we are 90 DNA. And it costs 350 DNA to evolve these guys. It's just... It, it makes you stop, and it just makes you stare at the screen like, really? But that is how things get done. So, we will see you guys next time with, hopefully, a Spinoraptor here in Jurassic World.